Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my 20 week appointment. So apparently when you have your 20 week appointment, you have like an hour long, um, hour long ultrasound. So we're going in that, going in for that today. I'm waiting on Craig to come pick me up. I'm really excited. I think that this ultrasound is going to make it even more real because it's like a full anatomy scan, a full look at his anatomy and to make sure everything's there and is like okay. And I'm probably gonna be like super emotional while talking about it because I am officially halfway through this pregnancy. Like I cannot believe that 14 weeks ago we found out about this baby and now we're halfway through like <laughs> where does time go slow down a little bit hello uh oh oh it's really dark <laughs> are you jamming to some jesus in here okay guys i can't take you in there because they have strict rules on not being able to record during ultrasounds which is super crappy but it's okay, and they give me, instead of printing out digital pictures of the baby, they send them to your phone, which I think is cool, but can we pray before we go in there? Hey God, we thank you so much for um, another day, and we praise you so much for uh, getting us to this point with the baby being healthy, and we pray for this visit. Uh, Lord, we just ask that you would uh, put your hand on Lexi and all the midwives and baby T as we um, get to see him again and we just pray that everything is healthy and everything is where it should be and how it should be. Uh, we praise you again uh, for this miracle and um, we just thank you so much Lord and it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm an emotional mess. I wasn't going to record this because I can't breathe, but the doctor thinks that the baby, I can't even say it, <clears throat> the doctor thinks that the baby might have spina bifida because of a few things that they saw. I wasn't going to record this because it's very hard. But I want to be able to look back on this and see how God was faithful. <sighs> and see how tomorrow when we go to get this confirmation, or this not confirmation, that... This is so small for God. If he's going to give us a baby who's a miracle, this is small to him. This video will probably go up way long after tomorrow, but... We could use all the prayers that we can get. But I just want to say that no matter how hard this is, God is still a way maker. He's still a miracle worker. And he'll finish what he started. Okay guys, it's the next day. And I don't have time to talk about it because we're getting ready to go into another appointment. Um, it's a follow-up appointment with a high-risk doctor um, to take a second look at the baby, a like more in-depth look to see if what they saw yesterday is there, um, how extensive it is, and what to do from here. Um, 
but we spent the entire day yesterday and this morning praying and all of you guys have been praying and speaking truth and love and victory over this baby and we have we're obviously terrified but I don't think that the this the fear has made our faith stronger um in this and so I think that <laughs> you always do that um I'm still scared but I think that as we go into this appointment today um I just believe that things are going to change and the miracle has already started um so yeah I'll maybe keep you guys updated as we go through this journey because like I said yesterday I just want this to I want this story to be an example of what God does, that impossible is where he starts and miracles are what he does, and that's going to be evident today. So, What do you say when you start saying? We did not get good news. So what they saw last night or yesterday was confirmed today um, by a, I guess you could say a special specialty, a doctor that specializes in high risk pregnancies, uh, confirmed that he did indeed have spina bifida, the lower lumbar, um, say like what like what we're gonna do my brain is so mush right now that I can't even like we basically have two options the first option is to do nothing right now besides monitor him basically um, and then deliver him at Riley Hospital which is in Indy and he would go right into surgery after he's born and he'd have to be born probably through cesarean and the other option The other option is to have intrauterine surgery in the next couple of weeks in Ohio where they will try to repair the whatever it is. The doctor thinks that he probably will not have fully functioning like bowel and what do you pee out of what's that called your bladder <laughs> bladder and um those types of organs but he did say that he thinks by the way that his feet look that he might be able to walk it's a good chance especially if we do the surgery while he's still in there but the risk is that he goes, he, we have to deliver him early, it would be three and a half months early, no wait, October, November, December, January, it'd be four months early, and like, that's even more scary. So I had to get this little thing, I don't know if you can see. I had to take amniotic fluid out today to test if his chromosomes are okay because they won't even do the surgery if it's not because apparently spina bifida can affect chromosomes and but he said that the way that his face and head looked that he doesn't think the chromosomes are affected they just have to do it anyway it's just very confusing how two days ago we thought we were having a healthy baby 
and we go into this appointment yesterday and she just nonchalantly says that we think your baby has spina bifida, a disease we have no idea what it is. Nobody in our family has it. And we believed all last night that God could do a miracle and they wouldn't see on the scan today what they saw yesterday and and that didn't happen. From here on out it's gonna be a prayer battle and we're very blessed with a lot of warriors around us to support us and join alongside us and conquering whatever this brings um, it's still so fresh right now I'm with you my brain isn't really shooting on all fours I think that even in the midst of this how scary and how confusing it is like it doesn't change how good God is it doesn't change how faithful he is it doesn't change the fact that this baby is a world changer whether he can walk or he doesn't have proper function of all of his organs or whatever the case is it's all going to be part of his story and God's going to use all of it. And who knows, maybe when we go to Ohio to have this surgery, they do an ultrasound and are like, what are you here for? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Anyway, um, obviously this news is super tough for us and we really don't have words. and. The only reason we wanted to make this video, well two reasons, one because we really need prayers. We don't want advice, we don't want any of that, we just want prayers. Um, and we also, like I said yesterday, we just want people to see this journey and see how faithful God is even in something that like is so unexpected and so tragic and hard like I just want God to get the glory from this so thank you guys for praying thanks for watching and I'll try to keep you updated I don't know if I'm gonna have the mental capacity to do that because I'm really surprised I sat down and made this video <laughs> but yeah Whether or not he comes into this world the way we thought, he's gonna be baby in there. <laughs>